Hello everyone, Spud here, and today I want to talk to you a bit about the next big Battlefield game. Battlefield 5, whatever it is going to be, it's coming out this year in 2016. Now, I have a few speculations here. One, on what the game actually is, and two, when it's going to release, and what I would like to see from the next big game. So, first off, I've heard, seen on the internet that a lot of people really want the next Battlefield game to be Battlefield Bad Company 3. And normally, you know, if you asked me last year, I would have said, hell yes, Bad Company 3 sounds amazing, let's do it. But now, looking at DICE's recent track track record with uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and I know this isn't really DICE, but Battlefield Hardline, these last two games have been pretty bare bones on content. And Bad Company 2 by itself, you know, that didn't have all that much there. Like, the expansions definitely added a lot to it. But, you know, weapons-wise and maps-wise, it, it's a lot less than what was in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. And so I think if they did go that route, they, would, they might take that same sort of approach that they've taken with Battlefront and, um, you know, Hardline, and they might make another bare-bones game that, while it plays really fun, there's just not enough depth there. And I think they should stick to sort of what they had in Battlefield 4, which is where it's almost a stupid amount of content. Like, there's over a hundred different weapons in this game. There's... I think around 80, no, not 80 maps. There's a lot of maps. There's a lot of maps. And, I mean, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I think this game is doing so well. I think it's being propped up by the amount of content and variety there is. And sure, half of it may actually in reality be useless or not that great, but the fact that it's there does something, I guess, subconsciously where it seems like there's a lot more content. Like, like, I have not gotten tired of this game. I've put in well over, you know, a thousand hours into this game on you know, Xbox, PS4, and PC, which is now my, my main platform. And I couldn't do that on either, you know, Battlefront or Hardline, because cause there's not enough there. They, 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 the games are so hobbled, but in fact, there's just so little content. And I do not want to see this happen to the next big Battlefield game. That being said, I also think that the bad company magic has sort of died off. The community still loves the game, of course, yeah, it still has players, but DICE doesn't know exactly what they did to make that game so great. I don't think anyone really knows exactly what it was, but something about the game, the way it played, was, you know, totally amazing. And with the recent moves that they've made, sort of away from total destruction and more towards, you know, big set pieces of destruction and mi sort of more micro destruction, I doubt that they would, like, if they made the next, you know, Battlefield back in the game, with the same level of destruction as, say, Battlefield 4, I think that'd be just disappointing to a lot of people. I think the game would definitely have that that we need to overcome, just disappointing destruction, because Battlefield 5, you can sort of expect it, you know, you know that they've been moving away from complete destruction for a while now, but, you know, Bad Company, that's what, what that was all about. And if they moved away from Bad Company in that, I think that would break the hearts of a lot of people. Um, so I think the next big, big Battlefield game is going to be Battlefield 5, or some sort of other, you know, more modern, maybe maybe futuristic, maybe Vietnam, Vietnam would be really cool type of shooter. I don't think it would be Bad Company. Alright, moving on. I think I know when this game is going to release. Now, take a look at Battlefield 3, uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter, um, Battlefield 4, Hardline's original release date, not the one that I got pushed back to. They've all been in October, or between the 20th and the 30th of, of October, so I think that's when we can expect the next big battle game to launch, because that's their trend. They like to launch their games in October. So, I think it's going to be in October 2016, between the 20th and the 30th, and yeah. So, another thing, let's talk about what I would like the, them to change. Now, I think that they're going to be messing with the class balance a bit. Um, I believe that the Assault class might be seeing, uh, not really a nerf, but definitely a rework. Um, right now, in Battlefield 3 and in uh, Battlefield 4, it's the dominant class. There's no, like, if you want to do really, really good in this game, you play Assault. Um, the other classes have been made stronger, they're not as bad as it was in Battlefield 3, but Assault is still king of the hill, and I think it's that's purely because they have the best Assault Rifles in the game, or the best weapons in the game, and the best gadget, which is the Med Bag. The Revive tool is very useful, but the med bag being able to heal yourself and others is incredibly strong. It adds to your sustainability by immense levels. And I think that they might go back to the Super Bad Company 2 pairing, where the LMG users, now the medics, and the assault is back to being the ammo carriers. Now, 
Another reason why they originally changed that is because of the sort of overpowered ammo and grenade combination. Uh, like a grenade launcher combination, but I think that since they've sort of moved away from what made uh, the grenade launchers so overpowered, like, like they've really nerfed the grenade launchers in Battlefield 4, I mean they're rarely used, um, I think that that wouldn't be nearly as bad. Um, maybe they even change out the grenade launchers for something different, maybe they completely rework the class and have different gadgets. Anyways guys, I think that'd be great. Um, tell me what you think in the comments down below, do you think I'm right? It's not to sort of not be wanting this to be Bad Company 3 because it might ruin a series that's amazing. Or do you think I'm wrong and I'm an idiot and uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways guys, tell me what you think down below in the comments. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye